What's up guys? Have you ever needed to make a space suit, be it for a Halloween costume or for a movie? I'm here to help you out. Keep in mind, I'm a filmmaker, not a costume designer, so you might have better methods of doing this, um, and if you do, please leave a comment below. This is just something I wanted to make for a short film in college. I wanted like an old, puffy, Apollo-style spacesuit, and so I thought I'd give a crack at making one. Everything you need to make this is available for purchase on Amazon. Um, I bought everything for about $250, but you can find this stuff at Goodwill, um, antique stores, whatever you can source it. Maybe you even have some of this in the closet. When I first initially knew I wanted to make a spacesuit, I did a ton of research into the Apollo suits and other countries as well of just what aesthetically makes up a spacesuit. And from there, I just started breaking apart the things that I found and trying to find everyday objects that sort of look like that thing. For example, I was watching the behind the scenes of the movie Alien, and uh, for their spacesuit, they used hockey gloves. I didn't have hockey gloves, so I just used my lacrosse gloves from forever ago. They're really beat up, and they probably need a new coat of paint, but it gives the aesthetic. Another example, a friend of mine noticed the EVA packs on the backs of the astronauts looks a lot just like a hiking backpack. So, I just got a hiking backpack and spray painted it white. The main base of the spacesuit is just made up of a winter puffer jacket. I think I spent maybe $14 on this on Amazon. Um, this is a size medium, and I'm a small guy, but you could, it doesn't really matter what size you are, if anything, go larger, extra large, if anything. The puffier the fit, the bulkier, the better it'll look. Um, and I, like oversized looks kind of silly when you're trying to stay warm, but for a spacesuit, it kind of sells the sort of bulkiness of it all. I think this coat was initially black, and I spray painted it white, and I took about a couple cans of spray paint. Um, if you can find a coat that's lighter color to start with, you can save money on spray paint, <laughs> unlike what I did. One pro side of starting with a black jacket is uh, you can really kind of avoid a lot of the seams um, because as it gets in there, the paint doesn't all the way get into the cracks and so it kind of gives it a weathered old look. Uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of a cool, it's a cool texture to it. And the pants are just XL ski pants. Uh, these ones aren't painted, uh, so it doesn't really match the rest of the suit, but I plan on doing that pretty soon. So once you sort of have all the key pieces down of gloves, jacket, pants, um, the next thing is to hide the seams because actual spacesuits don't have seams. So the top and the legs wouldn't be separated at the waist and you wouldn't zip the front of the jacket like that and if you would, you wouldn't really see the zipper. So to break up the seams, I did two things. First, to take care of the waist, I just got a uh, typical construction worker utility belt, spray painted it white. And that sort of just hides the fact that there's two different pieces. Um, kind of gives the illusion of it being more seamless. It's also nice for parties or whatever because you can fit beer, phone, whatever in these things. And then the top, I wanted to hide that front zipper. So I found this pretty interesting, uh, it's like a Taekwondo martial arts vest. Um, it's white, so that works, and it's paneled. It's got this kind of cool futuristic paneling thing, I thought. so. I uh, went with that. It's XL again. Um, it had a logo on it. I painted over it and slapped an American flag on it. Um, yeah, that sort of gave me the outer shell I needed and kind of covered up the rest of the seams. So that's pretty much the majority of things you have to sort of source to make the spacesuit. Um, the hardest, hardest part is the helmet. This is just a children's toy. I believe it was 35 bucks. Um, I've seen these in music videos and stuff. They're pretty good for their price um, if you're not trying to buy like an actual space helmet. This comes uh, white with a bunch of stickers on it and with like a blue see-through visor. Um, I sanded and painted off the stickers and the visor I thought looked better gold um, so I painted that but the only problem with that is you have zero visibility. I, I'm just completely blind right now. You can probably see the inside of that just is not. Not great. So if you are using this for a Halloween costume, just walk around with the visor up or hold your helmet. Um, and if you're using this for a film, make sure you rehearse the scene ahead of time with your actors so they know where they're walking and don't fall over and break their face and you end up with the lawsuit.
that pretty much covers everything except for footwear. You can do a variety of different things. You can get tactical boots or just boots from Goodwill, just spray paint them white. Um, I, first time I shot this, my friend was using wearing just Air Force Ones. That worked. But like pretty much everything with this spacesuit, there's plenty of other options and better ways to do things. So whatever works best for you, whatever you think looks cool, go for it. So that's pretty much a wrap. Um, leave a comment below if you have any better techniques I could should be paying attention to. Any ways to make the helmet look better or make the suit look better. Always open to suggestions. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But uh, please subscribe so you can see the next video. Have a good one.